Continuing coverage now of three killings in Grand Rapids Burton Heights neighborhood yesterday. Tonight, police are releasing new information about the victims, how they died and what police know about possible suspects. We have team coverage tonight. Jeremiah Brown has more on what we know about the victims, but we begin with Lauren Baker with the very latest in the police investigation. Lauren. Well, Elena, the chief spoke earlier to us and confirmed to us that the two people who actually died yesterday morning were fatally shot. And he also confirmed that one of the victim's child was possibly with them when they were killed. Now, yesterday, if you remember, the police spoke to us and said at the time he was unable to confirm if those victims had been shot and killed, but he has been able to since confirm that. Another heartbreaking detail we've learned today is that one of the victim's child, a three-year-old, was most likely with them when they and the other victim were possibly killed. Now, Chief Winstrom says they got a call about a child with blood on them wandering around the area, and they were able to find that child and confirm that it did belong to that victim. That child was not physically harmed and has been reunited with his mother. We also learned that a vehicle was found in the area, and they are trying to see if it's connected to this investigation and that the two victims from yesterday morning did have a friendship. Now, we actually just got done speaking to someone who lives in the neighborhood. He said he was shocked to see not only the scene, but also find out he went to school with one of the victims. He says while he doesn't know her personally, he says she was known to be a happy person and very cheerful and that her life ended too soon. Today, rather yesterday, is just another example as to why people need to put the guns down. That we have to keep the guns away. I mean, it's, usually, it's nowadays it's the younger kids, the younger generation who are doing all these things. So really just need to start being more responsible, honestly. It's a lack of, lack of adulthood is really what it is lack of maturity, you know, especially living in Grand Rapids, you know, like it is a, it's becoming a common thing and I really don't want it to become a common thing. Now, there are still just a lot of questions swirling around. One, are these cases connected? Two, is it a form of retaliation? And three, the most important one, who's behind this? Now, investigators are still trying to figure out the answers to those questions. And as soon as we get those answers, we'll be sure to let you know. Reporting live in Grand Rapids, I'm Lauren Baker, 13 on your side. And we also know more about the identities of the three killed in yesterday's shooting. Two of the victims were told were dating a 20 year old woman and a 19 year old man. The third victim killed just hours later has been identified as a 32 year old man. 13 year signs Jeremiah Brown continues our team coverage from the newsroom after hearing from the family of one of the victims. Jeremiah. Lena and Juliet, the family of 20 year old Anaya Rodriguez is remembering her as a sweet and funny person who always had a smile on her face and always thought positively. The family says Rodriguez graduated from East Kentwood High School and was a leader in cheer and her community. Police say Anaya was with her 19 year old boyfriend Malik Eubanks when the two were found dead after being shot. Authorities said Eubanks two year old child was found wandering the streets alone about a mile away from the crime scene with blood on them. The child is now with their mother and the two were found on Melville Street between Horton and Francis Avenues. The third victims was identified as a 32 year old Daryl Yarber. He was found shot and killed hours later near Horton and Burton. Anyone with information related to this is asked to call police or silent observer in response to the violence that can Community is holding a peace vigil this weekend. It's happening on Horton Avenue in the neighborhood where the shootings happened. It starts at five o'clock. In the newsroom, I'm Jeremiah Brown, 13 on your side.